Hello everyone, it's Hungry Masha. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to test Jamie Oliver's spaghetti carbonara recipe and decide whether it's authentic or not. Start. So first up guys, you only need five ingredients. Guanciale. This is the cured cheek of pork. I have a nice cheek of pork that Jamie recommends. Then most people use Parmesan, but actually the more classic is Pecorino Romano. Sheep's cheese, it's crumbly, it's salty. I also bought Pecorino Romano today at the market. It should be nice. Free range organic egg. Pasta. Black pepper. Grab the pasta by two hands, twist it into the water. By twisting it, it won't stick together. Put a tiny amount of salt in this water because the cheese and the guanciale is salty. This beautiful pasta takes eight minutes to cook. So I've got my guanciale. I'm gonna remove the skin and I'm gonna take a nice centimeter slice of the guanciale, roughly chop this to about half centimeter chunks. Now, the pan, it's cold. Turn it on to a medium high heat. The reason I want it cold is because I want to render the fat out. The guanciale goes in to the pan and this pan is getting hot. So the pan should be cold. I didn't know this. It's good advice. Now let's get onto the eggs. Eggs are really, really delicate. And if you don't treat these right, you end up with stir fried noodles. And we don't want that. I'm gonna take a bowl and I'm gonna crack the egg straight into there. And I'm just gonna add a little pecorino to that. So like 20 grams. Now we're time sensitive, so we're gonna have a little whisk up. And we're gonna drag the pasta and the water into the pan. Use the water to stop the frying. Bit of water, bit of water. That water and the fat, that is what's going to emulsify to become a creamy sauce. We're not frying anymore. Can you hear that? Quiet. No frying at all. Only then can we think about adding our egg. And now it's a very important step. We should add our egg and we want to avoid scrambled eggs on our pasta. You get the cream through the emulsification of the cooking water and the fat. So, our pasta is ready. Now, let's try it. So, Sebastian, today we are trying Jamie Oliver's uh, spaghetti carbonara. What was the last thing we tried from Jamie Oliver? Porridge. <laughs> the porridge was less good. Okay, let's see. But this is, this is looking rather good. See, maybe he redeems himself when it comes to pasta. Mm. Mm. It's very tasty. Very tasty indeed. Yeah, it's a good recipe. Very fast, easy. And Jamie gives a lot of uh, advice. For example, he explained how to make it creamy without cream. Can we call this carbonara classic carbonara? I think so. I think so. Feels like a classic carbonara to me. No cream, which is so. A, Jamie Oliver does not thing. lie in his video. It's classic carbonara. So we recommend Jamie Oliver's pasta carbonara, and see you next Sunday for our brunch with a chef. Goodbye.